guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you two different versions of a nativity scene that you can make pretty super quick and easy and budget friendly. They make great gifts. They are good for craft fairs. You definitely want to have one of these in your home this year. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. i show you how. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Okay, we're going to start with a one and a quarter by 72 inch dowel rod and we're just going to mark out the, the um, pieces that we need to cut. And I've given you a diagram in the description below that you can go with. After you get them all cut, just sand the ends of them. Just put your hand in a 220 grit sandpaper and just twist the ends until they're completely smooth. This is, goes really quickly actually. Next, we're going to stain them with a Minwax Special Walnut Color, and we're just going to stain the tops and the sides. And don't get, just kind of go down the sides pretty smoothly, and you'll get, make sure you don't get any blotching. Okay, next, we're going to take some wood glue, and we're going to attach these one and a quarter inch doll heads that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I'll give you the link for those below. You don't need a lot of glue, but make sure that any of it that oozes out here, that you go ahead and clean it off. And we're going to attach one to each one of our little cylinders. And then next for the baby Jesus, I took a Jenga block and a half um, 12 millimeter bead. And I'm just attaching it probably about a quarter inch from the top ledge. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the shepherd staffs, and I'm just going to take some uh, wire that's got some paper covering on it, and I'll give you the link for this as well. And I'm going to do about seven times, and they're going to be nine inches in length, and just double it up until you have about seven strands put together. Then I'm going to bring my drill in, and I'm going to twist them. So you want to go ahead and twist both ends first, and then just go ahead and attach it to your drill like you would a drill bit. And then just hold it and twist it. And then I'm going to take one of the little um, wooden cylinders to wrap it around to make the, the shape of the staff. Okay, to make the shepherd's hats, I'm taking a five and a half inch by five inch piece of fabric and I'm going to glue on the five inch side and I'm just going to fold it over and glue that down. This will make a little casing so that you have a nice finished edge on the outside. Next I'm going to go ahead and take it and I'm just going to fold it down about a quarter inch on each side and I'm going to glue that down. Now if you don't want to put hats on them you can just do it just the same exact way on all these all these pieces and just have a more contemporary look by not adding any any fabric to any of them. And I'll show you at the end what that looks like as well. Okay, and then just go ahead and turn it right side out. And then we're going to go ahead and attach it to the head. So make sure that you put the seam in the back and push it over his head. And then we're just going to put a little bit of glue in the back to hold it in place. And then you can just figure out how much of the face you want to show. I'm just going to go around the top edge and glue that down. I'm probably leaving, you know, about probably a half inch for the face. And then go ahead and fold it over and then just glue that flat down to the back. And then I'm just going to add a piece of um, jute around him. Go ahead and put his staff up next to it and then go ahead and attach the jute. And I'm going around the back of his hat as well. And I'm just wrapping it around a few times, probably about five times, and then I'm going to tie a bow in the front. And then go ahead and adjust his staff so it's facing outward and just put a little bit of glue down at the bottom just to hold it in place. And then do the other shepherd exactly the same way. Then I'm taking a bigger piece of jute and I'm just going to go wrap it around the top part of his hat. And just kind of pull the corners down as you're gluing it in just so that they don't have a pointy edge at the top part. And just kind of glue those flat against his hat.
Okay, next we're doing Joseph and Mary, and I'm cutting a seven and a half inch by two and a half inch piece of um, burlap. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some Mod Podge all the way around the edges of it just so that it doesn't fray. And just put it on top of her head to dry. Next, we're going to do Joseph. And we're doing the same thing with Joseph as we did the Shepherds. Taking a five and a half by five inch piece of fabric. And this is also burlap. And just folding down the five inch side. And then go ahead and fold it back a quarter of an inch. Now, you don't want to get too much glue on the burlap because it will go right through that. Just lightly do the glue on this one. And then on the opposite side where it goes against his head, just put a couple little dots of glue. And then when we get it all put together, it'll stay in place. Then turn it right side out, and we're just going to go ahead and put it on top of his head. Just make sure your seam's in the back, and we're just going to glue this in just like we did the Shepherd Boy. Okay, and on the opened end, we're going to glue it shut. Just put a couple little dots, or don't, don't put too much on the front, or you will see it through the burlap. And then just go ahead and close that up. And then we're just going to glue that together. And then fold it back. And then we're just going to glue it right to his body. Okay, next I'm going to take the same piece of jute that I did on the Shepherd Boy. And I'm just going to put it around the top part of his hat. Just make sure that you glue your corners down because you don't want those corners poking up on top of, that, on top of his head. And you can use any kind of fabric that you want to. I mean, this pattern will work with pretty much anything. It, any cotton fabric. I just wanted to try to make it a little bit more rustic looking. And then go ahead and tie it off in the back. And then we're going to go ahead and continue to glue around. Made it a little bit easier because that jute does unravel. And then we're going to go ahead and pull the back down and we're going to glue it all the way to the back. And then open that back up and then go ahead and finish gluing it. And just put a little bit of glue at the tip of your jute so it doesn't unwind. And then go ahead and that, if it unwinds like that one did, just unroll it back up and then glue it together. Okay, now for Mary, we're going to go ahead and put this right over the top of her head. We're going to leave it hanging over just a little bit in the front, and we're going to glue both sides down. Just make sure it's even on both sides. And just do one little dot of glue. Don't put too much, otherwise you'll see it through the burlap. And then go ahead and glue the back down. And then we're going to just fold these two pieces into each other and glue those together. Okay, next on the baby Jesus, I'm do, the one I did in the video before is the one that you use for the ones that do not have any fabric on them. But glue this one closer, glue the little um, half bead closer to the top part of this wooden Jenga block so that it, all you'll see is just his little um, head sticking out. And we're taking a three by three piece of fabric and I'm just using a piece of felt and I'm just fold, I'm just wrapping them in it. And then it had too much fabric at the top, so I just kind of trimmed that out a little bit. Next, put the Mary and the Joseph together. We're just going to put a little bit of glue down at the bottom just to hold them in place. And then we're going to diagonal the baby Jesus across Mary. And then we're going to wrap both of them together in some jute. Just wrap it around them several times. And then we're going to tie it in a bow when we get to the front. Okay, next we're going to start with the wise men. Now start on the back part of the head, of the, of the little doll head, just a little bit off-centered from the center. We're going to take some um, ribbon, and we're just going to go round and round and round in circles until we get all the way to the bottom part of his head. 
And you can use any kind of ribbon or anything like that that you want to use. I just had some of this already. And I think I got it at, um, actually, I think I got it at Stampin' Up, but I've seen it at Hobby Lobby as well. We're just kind of making a little turban for him. Okay, then once we get to where we want his face to start showing completely, which is about right there, then we're going to come up and go over the, the bot. We're going to go between the bottom and the second to the bottom and overlap. So you're going to go between the two, the, the two last um, rows. And then we're going to go around again and do it right above that as well. This gives it a little bit of trim and kind of sticks out a little bit on his head. Okay, next we're going to make a sash. We're just going to do, cut it at a diagonal up there and put that up against the side of his head. And then we're going to go drape it across the front to the other side. And we're going to do the same thing on the back and then we're going to overlap those. And just kind of overlap them at the top. And then I'm just going to use a little popsicle stick to kind of push it down a little bit because it was really hard to get into that little opening. And just go ahead and pull them across the front and the back. And then we're just going to overlap them and we're going to glue them down. And then we're just going to trim off a little bit on the bottom part. Kind of do them at little diagonals. Okay, next we're going to take a piece of jute and we're going to take three little beads and we're going to put it across the front. Now, each one of these has is bringing their gift and the, I'm going to give them each, uh, I'm going to give the, one of them a one bead, one a two bead, and one a three bead. And so this is going to be like the gift that they're bringing Jesus. And so we're just going to come pull it right around the front and glue it down. Kind of put the beads together a little bit before you glue them together so they kind of stay in place a little bit. And then we're just going to tie it in a knot on the back. Okay, for the next one, we're just going to take some ribbon and we're going to start where his, his, you want his face to start showing. And we're just going to put some strips of ribbon around the top part just to kind of cover up the top part of the head before we start putting the little turban part on him. And I put several strips of ribbon on here. Just really take some time and really cover that top part up. And on the ones that are on the side, you probably have to go from the side to diagonal to the other side just to make sure that it does lay flat on his head. Okay, now we're going to start doing the turban part. We're going to start kind of in the... Um, back a little bit, glue it in, and we're just going to start wrapping it. You kind of go around the head one time, you know, one time, and then come back over the top and do a diagonal across the top. You just kind of going up and over and then, then over and up, just to kind of give it a cross look in the front. Just kind of play with it a little bit until you're comfortable with where you want it to be, and then go ahead and glue it in. And then glue that off in the back. Then I'm going to take the same ribbon and I'm just going to kind of fold it up together, two of them together. And I'm just going to kind of just start twisting them just to go around the front part of his hat all the way around to the back. Just to give it a little bit more depth. And just kind of keep it twisted while you're gluing it.
And then once you get completely glued in, it, it won't come unrolled. Okay, next we're going to take the leftover ribbon and we're just going to cross it across his chest. Just cut it at a diagonal so it'll go and um, set up there flush with the little bead or the little doll head. And then we're just going to cross it. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side and we're just going to cross them. Just kind of line them up however you want to and then just kind of make sure that your ribbons are the same length on both sides and then just glue them in. Then we're going to take some jute just like we did the other one and double it up and we're just going to run two beads through here for this one and then put a little bit of glue in the middle to kind of hold them together and then we're just going to tie it around his waist and then just cut that off on the back and then we're going to glue it down. And then we're going to go ahead and glue the two little ribbons down too. Okay, for the third one, we're going to take a seven and a half inch by four inch piece of fleece. And we're just going to put it right over the top of his head, just fold it in half. Go ahead and glue it right in the center. And then just make it up there to where you still have a little bit of hangover so that when you put his little crown on that it comes up over his face a little bit. Then we're just going to glue them down on both sides. Just make sure your sides are even. And then go ahead and glue that side down. And before we put the, pull the back back, we're just going to make sure that the crown still leaves a little bit of fabric on the front part of him and then turn it over and just go ahead and glue it down. We're going to glue it down right in the center. And then we're going to overlap the two flaps in the back and glue those down. Okay, next I'm just painting his um, little crown a um, gold color, a metallic gold. Then I'm going to take some ribbon and I'm going to just put it around his waist. Just glue it in, and it's going to where we're going to probably wrap it about two or three times. And then just cut that off in the back and glue it in. And then just like the rest of them, we're going to go ahead and put a bead on this one. And this is just going to get one bead. So each one, they'll have one, two, and three. And then just clip that off. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach his little crown to him. Just put a little bit of glue around the top. Don't put too much or you might see it. And then just push it right on top of his head. Okay, next we're going to make our little um, angel. We're just going to wrap a wire around um, the, the rod there so we get a good size on it. To make a circle. And then we're going to bend that back part down. And that's what we're going to attach it on the back part with. Just kind of try real hard to get it pretty round. And then I'm going to trim off a little bit off the back. And then I'm going to glue it to the, to the head and to the back part of the body. Just make sure you get it lined up so it does kind of lean up a bit. It's not just sitting right on the angel's head. Okay, next I'm just going to take this mesh that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap it around my hand a few times. Just figure out how wide you want his wings to be. And then um, just loop it around. I think I'll loop mine around five times. And you can use whatever you want to. On the, on the nativity scene that I did where I did not put hats on them, I just used a ribbon on that one. 
And once you get it as thick as you want to, just go ahead and cut it off and add a piece of wire to it. And then I'm going to attach a piece of jute to it to actually attach it to the angel. And then just tie it in a bow. Okay, for the sheep, I'm just taking a 5 inch by 2 inch piece of Sherpa fabric and I'm just going to cut it straight in half. And then I'm going to glue right down the middle and put these together, squeeze them together, and kind of make it just like a little collar for these little sheep, just to kind of show that they are sheep. Just wrap it around there and then we're just going to glue it on. Just go ahead and do the same thing with the other one. It just kind of set them a little bit apart from the rest of them. Dressed them up a little bit. Kind of fluff it up a little bit and then glue it to the head. Okay, I just want to show you what it looks like if you don't put any headdresses on them, if you just kind of leave them plain. This is the first one that I did, and on the angel, I just used ribbon for the wings. And then the one we just finished, this is the what it looks like complete in, in the whole set. So if you like these kind of videos, be sure and like. If you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe. And hit the bell to get notified when I have a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.